Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. man i'm good you gotta let me know if um the reception's good here i'm on i'm in hawaii you're where i'm in hawaii no way man that's awesome yeah i'm in hawaii i got here so i'm sure many people have done this you ever you ever get offered like one of those hotel deals where they're like hey if you come and listen to us for like two hours and we'll try to sell you a timeshare or like buying into their whole thing. Did you ever hear of these things? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All the time. All right. So long story short, I don't know, a couple of months ago, my wife's on the phone doing something with Hilton honors. Right. Mm-hmm. And they're like, Hey, you want to, we we're, we're doing this whole new thing where you can buy into the Hilton in Hawaii. And you know, it's for, whatever it's the hilton grand vacation club right okay so of course she's like yeah it's like 400 bucks or something some stupid price to stay for five nights so we're like well we scuba dive and you gotta sit and listen to the sales pitch for two hours why not screw it you know we're traveling or or we're empty nesters let's go for it right so we book it we we fly all the way to Hawaii from Naples, Florida. It's like a 14 hour flight, super tired. We're six hours behind Eastern time. So right now we're doing our show, I'm six hours behind you. Mm-hmm. We land, we go to the place and uh, you know, kind of like, hey man, where's, where do you park? And I go, it's $50. Fifty dollars. I got how much is it to sub park? Forty eight. Forty eight dollars to sub park. Fifty dollars if you want a valet. I'm like oh my god. All right, well valet. So valet, I'm already getting banged. Fifty dollars now. You walk into this hotel area, and you know we're waiting in line, and we get to the front desk, and they're like, oh, you're you're in a different tower. Like, okay, well, you got to go check in at a different tower. Okay, okay where's the part? Oh, you got to take the shuttle. I got to take a shuttle. <laughs> you know, we got all our bags. been flying for hours. Like, oh, my God. Jeez. So some guy, we're waiting for the shuttle. Dude, it's going on like 20 minutes. I'm not even exaggerating. And finally, some guy walks up to us like, hey, are you here for the, uh, are you staying in the ocean tower? I go, yeah, we're supposed to. He goes, Go give your bags to the bag to the bad guys. Have them delivered to your room. Go walk. He goes. Don't wait for the tram. It's gonna take forever, and it only goes like three miles an hour. Just trust me. Get in. Just go walk there. And he goes. And I'm telling you right now, it it feels about like a mile walk. I thought the guy was exaggerating. Dude, this walk had to be it had to be three quarters of a mile to a mile walk right so whatever now we finally get there it's a really really i can't i can't underestimate how long this freaking walk was to get to the tower and you can't park there there's only one parking spot one freaking parking spot right one freaking parking spot you can't there's no parking anywhere else and you got to pay 50 bucks. So we walk all the way there. And we check in. And we're thinking we're getting a vacation club room. Because that's what they're selling us. Like the yeah. vacation club. It's like a 1970s bad <laughs> holiday inn. On like St. Pete Beach in 62. The oh. carpets haven't been changed. Now you don't understand something, Mike. You don't understand something. <clears throat> I could sleep in a tent. All right. My wife immediately, <laughs> and my kids, my kids have bets every time we show up at a place. We're like, 
is mom going for this place or are we bailing this place? Are we walking in and, and, and like, are we, what, what is she going to be happy or unhappy? Well, she's not happy. <laughs> she's like, ew, the, the, the place is disgusting. I don't want to sleep in the bed. There's stains on the carpet. There's, there's stains on the night table. This wasn't clean. There's chips in the bathroom. All right. So I'm sitting there like this. Like, All right. Well, what do you, uh, what, what are we doing? Is we just flew 13 hours, drove another 40 minutes to get here. What, what, what are we doing? I'm going downstairs. Oh, okay. She goes downstairs, she comes back 45 minutes later. <sighs> They're sold out. I go, okay, well, I'm not sleeping here. Okay. So now it's, <laughs> now it's, Dude, it's nine o'clock at night. I'm in the Big Island, Hawaii, and I'm looking for other hotels. And and we're looking at Airbnbs. So this is going on for 45 minutes. Okay, I like. <laughs> what do you think of this Airbnb? Well, it's a lot of money. And where is it? Ah, oh, it's an hour away. So finally, I'm about to pull the trigger on the Airbnb, mm-hmm. and the phone rings, and she picks it up. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, I'll be right down. She goes, they found us a better room. So she goes downstairs. She gets the key. We're happy campers. She comes back. We go to the next room. <laughs> it's bigger. But still, she's like, I don't want to stay uh, here. <laughs> so we sleep there that night. I find an Airbnb, which is where we're at now. Here, I want you to see it. This is a, it's a two bedroom. You can't really see the bedroom. It's supposed to be a living room. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, wow. All right. Little, yeah. Little and I walking path goes down to the beach. Um, there's two bedrooms here, two baths. So long story short, the Hilton Grand Vacation, we didn't stay where they, where they, where the Hilton put us. Now, here's the kicker. You can't just leave. You can't leave. Because if you don't sit for the two-hour sales pitch, you got to pay the normal price that they book. Like, like right, the yeah. The room yeah. is like 400 a night. We're paying 400 <laughs> for the whole week. Yeah. So, now granted, I'll tell you this. We went scuba diving. You're not certified, right? I was. I have to get recertified, but yeah. Oh, dude, you you gotta you gotta get certified. Go to, to, the, the freaking keys. Yeah, I'm planning on it, man. I'm planning on it. The the keys are. I will totally go scuba diving with you down in the keys. Oh shit, is, bet, dude. Yeah. All right, I'm getting certified. It, if you're already certified and you just yep. need to redo it, yep. You just like do it in a pool or something like that. Somewhere at the YMCA or something like yep. that. So do it. I'm telling you, I'm going to go to the Keys once a month, twice a month. The place is, it's got the third largest reef in the world. Mm-hmm. You got, you got Belize, Australia, and Florida, the biggest Keys in the world. And it goes, and it wraps all the way to Keys. It's freaking, you're going to be blown out of your mind. It's crystal clear. It's like swimming in a pool. Anyway. Hey, how many days are you in, uh, in, in Hawaii now? I'm leaving... Uh, in two more days, basically when this is airing on the Bruniverse. Mm-hmm. So everyone listening right now, I'm already gone. Oh, I'm okay. already gone. I'm heading to Michigan. So the next podcast will be from Michigan. Um, and then we have the New York shows, which I'll get into. So I'm scuba diving. Dude. My wife talks me into going to this night dive. Oh, uh. Which I'm like, mm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but the night dive is to see manta rays. Do you know what a manta ray is? Oh, yeah. This thing's between 15 and 30 feet in it with its wingspan. Huge. Like the size of your living room. You, you, you go down to the bottom of the water and you lay down. You know, and they have these lights, 
these freaking man array the size of my living room. See my head? It literally was like inches above my head and would come it would come from behind me and just swoop down in front of me. It was sick. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I am. So the scuba diving is saving us big time down here. We've been scuba diving from the same place. Um, dude, they got like these muskrat looking things out here. They look like squirrels. Uh. I was going to turn the camera, but you can, it already went down the bushes. Um, so we're scuba and life is happy. Enjoying this, enjoying that. But today I had to go and sit with the Hilton Grand Vacation Club, right? Uh. So <laughs> I'm not a <laughs> I'm not a complainer. If I'm not happy, I just keep my mouth quiet and then I and I keep and I move along. We walk in the office, right? And didn't my wife and I already my wife and I are both like, we're not we're not even thinking about this, right? Like, no, not at all. <laughs> we sit down. And my wife right away. I just got to tell you, um, from the minute you, you know, you sold us on a vacation place and we sent here and we got to walk two miles and this place sucked, looked like a 1960s holiday inn. And she's like, oh, I know, I'm so sorry about that. It wasn't, but these, those don't represent the Hilton. It doesn't represent what we're about. It doesn't represent our rooms. Well, I'm telling you right now, we're staring at an Airbnb. She's like, oh my God. And my wife's already like, you know, you know, you should give us our money back. Well, we can't really do that. But uh, how much does it cost you? 400 bucks. Well, I'm telling you, you can't do that. Well, maybe if you buy, maybe if you buy, we're looking to get you 400 bucks back. <laughs> so <laughs> she's, she's, not, she's not winning on the getting the money back thing. So we continue, and we're both solid. Like, we're not buying into this. And then all of a sudden, dude, next thing you know, <laughs> next thing you know, to like, we got places here, 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 and here, and here. Uh, I'm, like, no. I'm like, right? And for X amount of points and X amount of dollars, you can do this, 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 and this, and this. And now my wife and I are just getting really silent. And like, we're kind of looking at each other, corner eye, like, are we really, are we really even thinking about this? Like, is this possible? So we sit there for over an hour and a half. Um, we go see the rooms. It's night and day. The rooms that they're offering are night and day compared to what we're staying in. But still, my wife's pissed and so am I. I'm like, dude, I don't know about you, but if you're trying to sell me something, I'm waiting at the door when you check in. Even if the accommodations suck, I'm like, I just want to let you know with the room that they're putting you in has nothing to do with us. We lived like it just it was a bad it was a bad greeting from the minute we showed up. Very, very bad. Jesus. So Long story short, they start going, <laughs> you know, me, my wife and I, all we want to do is travel now. We just came back from Africa. I want to go to, I want to go to Asia. I want to go to South America. I want to travel all over the world. Yeah. And they start, you know, now I'm watching the screen where Africa's coming up and Thailand, Maldives. Uh, you got places in all these places. Oh, yeah. In Maldives, we go over the Water and we got the bungalow over the water and blah, this and for X amount of points and it's not like a, it's just not a timeshare like once you have it you have it forever you don't have to pick a particular week and fight with others like hmm. so what if I call around Christmas time she's like well that's common sense everyone wants to book Christmas and like okay so it's not really whenever I want but most of when I want right, so now we now I'm thinking about so now they're like, if you buy now, you get like a gazillion Hilton points. And I'm going, all right, now I got a tour coming up. And if I could put everyone up with my Hilton points, that would save me X amount of dollars. And hmm, how much money would this October, November run cost? And then if I bought, okay, if I buy, so now I'm actually, my wheels are turning. And now I'm actually, my wife and I are actually thinking about this. And they go, you ready to buy now? And went, no, we need they're like, why don't you go have, you know, why don't you go talk about it? Like, why don't we go get lunch and come back? We go to lunch. And before we go to lunch, they give us a number to buy into. Okay. Dude, I'm texting my accountant. Is this, am I crazy <laughs> for even thinking about this? I'm seriously thinking about this. Um, 
I think it's a crazy, like a really good deal for someone like me and my wife. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I'm just not sure. Yeah. And no one's getting back to me. I asked one friend, and my friend's like, do not buy into any <laughs> stupid vacation clubs. What's wrong with you, Brewer? Seriously, yeah. what's wrong with you? Like, no, 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 I'm good enough. It's not as bad as you think. So we end up going in and we go, hey, man, we're going to pass. And she's like, oh, no, like, not going to. She says, you have to fill out a survey and have to introduce you to another one. So now they bring you to another room. We have to supposedly do a survey, but really it's like the higher, the higher manager, like this, this salesman struck out. Yeah. So here yep. comes, here comes the, <laughs> the heavy guy. hitter. Yeah. <laughs> now battling for the Hilton vacation club, an executive that's been working for many, many years since batting 580 in sales pitches. Dun, dun, dun. She comes with a Louisville slugger and she's like, you know, she's listening to the story right out of the gate with my wife. And she's like, I totally get that that you're not the only one i've had a couple of people here and we just bought the whole place we're renovating it's not our fault it, that's a different that's a japanese company throwing japan right under the table right so we go she goes tell you what can we offer you a really cheap vacation at one of the following places and it was it was like los cabos Mexico, Sedona, New York City, uh, Arizona, California, um, and a place, and like two places in Mexico. Wait, wait, wait I'll, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, uh, shoot. Oh, 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 here we, here we go. Ready? So it's two places in Hawaii. Okay. Arizona, California, Carlsbad, Las Vegas, Orlando, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Williamsburg, Virginia, Georgetown, Washington, D.C., <laughs> New York City, <laughs> um, or Cabo San Lucas. I go, you know, I haven't been to Oahu in Hawaii, and I haven't been to Cabo San Lucas. I'm like, I tell you what, what, what? So what's the deal with this? And she goes, okay. So basically, you get it for this price. We'll give you X amount of points. And when you go there, if you still want the deal we just offered, it's all on the table still. So basically, you're buying time to think about what you were offered today. Dude, I don't know if my wife and I just suckers. We totally went for the vacation because, <laughs> okay, because we're having a great time. Like we've, we've been scuba diving almost every day. It's freaking amazing. Yeah. And the scuba diving hips, and and now we're literally like, you know, for the amount of money we pay and the amount of vacations we go on, this thing would be paid for in probably four years tops because basically what they're selling it's not a timeshare, but what they're trying to sell us is if you buy into this. It's lifetime. So it's one price, lifetime. You're a lifetime member and you can go to all these places we offer. Plus, you know, if you, if we don't offer it, you go to this company, that company. So with that said, anyone listening, please give your input. I'm all ears, but I'll tell you what, I am going to look into it. I am looking into the Hilton Grand Vacation Club. I'm looking into it. Look, turn, put on the, um, you know what? I shouldn't do this. Like free advertising for them. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. If people are interested in buying some Disney resort stuff, I'm going to start Airbnb in my Disney place because I get sick. Let me repeat that word. Sick places in Disney. Because I bought Disney points a long time ago when the kids are little. And we barely use them anymore. And I usually give them to family and, you know, like people in need. People with, I give them away often. And so if I don't give them away, 
someone just told me like, you know, you can Airbnb this. If you got a family of five to eight people, which is what I can put you in, like two bedroom, three bedroom villas. If you got that many people trying to buy a Disney vacation, they're paying through the nose to stay there. They're paying four, five, six hundred dollars a night, even more, where I can charge way, way less for that and give you a sick, awesome room. So keep that in the back of your head, people. So it's not like a timeshare where you just you buy one week and you're good. This yeah. is you buy a certain amount of points. You're allowed to use a certain amount of points every year, but it's a lifetime. And the amount of points that I would look into is just, it's the way we travel. Like we go, I don't know. I don't know. See, I'm talking, I don't know. It's something to think about. So <laughs> I'm in Hawaii and that's what I'm doing right now. Tough life, man. I, I, Sometimes I feel guilty talking about this stuff. And then the other times like, no, nah, man, I busted ass. I'm in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, hey. <laughs> I really want you to get certified, though. Yeah, dude, I'm t I, I'm so down for that shit. So okay. down. I will totally go on a dive trip with you. Yeah, if no, you, if, that's, yeah. The minute you get certified, me and you will go on and we'll talk about it on the podcast. I think that would be sick. I'll, I'll film me getting certified or recertified. And could you do me a big favor, which I know you haven't done yet? Sure. Can you reach out to Brian? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I've been very proactive about that. I reached out to Brian. He put me in touch with his tech. I've talked to his tech. He said, we can do this and that. I'm like, I need this. And he goes, we can do that. Brian, so, I, you know what, Mike? Yeah, yeah. I will highly apologize to the entire Bruniverse for even doubting you for <laughs> one second. You just went up a whole new, I'll tell you what, I'll pay because of that. If you go get recertified, I will pay for it. Shit. I'll do it this weekend. <laughs> you book it. I will pay for it because we got to get in that studio. Well, it's, it's out there now. You just told the Bruniverse. So. I just told everyone I can't retract <laughs> it. He could totally call me a lie. So the fact that that ball is rolling really excites me considering by the time I come back, hopefully we'll be close to getting ready to move and groove in our new studio. Dude, the day after you told me to talk to Brian, I, I got on the horn with him right away. I'm like, this is what we need. Dude. Oh, and I, I have him. I have him. Oh, check this out. I yeah, have yeah. him looking for the floor plans of the um of the space up there because a buddy of mine is going to create the space in VR so I can go in virtual reality and set the studio up how it would be set up in real life. I can see through the camera. We'll be able to see exact camera angles and stuff. It, it's I'm just waiting on the floor plans and I can give it to my buddy. He's going to build the uh, the upstairs and then, yeah, we're going to have it virtually. It's going to be cool. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm getting excited. Yeah, see, dude? Yeah. I'm getting super excited because here's a couple things. And I don't know. I'll just put this out there for the Bruniverse, for the for the listeners. Are you interested? I've got all these segments I want to start doing, like, pers and, and let you in a little bit of my personal life. Like, do you want to, is it interesting to watch me narrate? my safari trip and show you all the video footage and all the like is that something interesting to you i don't know um when i took when my childhood friends i want to bring that and there's characters that i've been dying to do but i just haven't i have i, I just haven't done it here yet because i feel like i have a certain vision for them i have a certain vision what it's going to look like behind me. I have a certain vision of what the, what the colors are going to look like and everything that goes with it, along with documentaries. Like I just finished one documentary, but I want to do this other documentary and multiple others and all just presented here. But I, once me and Mike are in this, uh, once we're in here, then we're in this studio, we'll be ready to rock and roll. So, okay couple things I want to tell you guys real quick and I want to get into some videos and I will call it a day while I'm out of here in Hawaii. Here's some dates and you get 25% off of the following venues 
when you go to buy tickets and you put this promo code in. I'm going to tell you the promo code right now. It's laughs. L-A-U-J. It's laughs. It's laughs. Thanks for looking out for me, Mike. That was. Here's the shows I'm doing, okay? And I believe they go on. I don't, are they on sale now? Are they go on sale. Uh, some of them are on sale. Some of them haven't been announced yet. Uh, there's a few up on the site that are brand new. Okay. October 23rd, playing a small theater, um, very sentimental place where uh, my brother lived for a long time, Ed Troy and the Troys. Brother passed away a long time ago, left three young boys. Uh, that's another story, if you ever heard that, on when he came to me. And, you know, some people believe that, some people don't. I know what I saw. So Old Sabre, Connecticut means a lot to me. It's a, uh, I'm super excited I'm going to be there. And I'm going to tell an incredible stories when I'm there too. So Old Sabre, Connecticut is October 23rd. They are not having a discount code. It's a small theater. They need to, uh, the price I'm taking, they need to keep the, all the money. Buffalo Shays. That's October 24th, October 25th. Mimi, Mimi's in Ohio, Mimi, Ohio, Cleveland Playhouse. October 27th, Jason Kaplan Aronoff Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. Pensacola, Florida. Uh, Dothan is in November, November 19th, and Pensacola, Florida is November 17th. Uh, November 18th, I'm in Macon, Georgia. That one also does not have the code. So only two places do not have the code. 25% off for, for just my listeners, and it ends by tomorrow. If you're listening to the Bruniverse right now, that code is done. Laughs, the code is laughs. If you're one of the first to listen, which all the Patreon members are, and you need to go to any of these shows, Connecticut, Buffalo, uh, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Pensacola, Florida, Dothan, Alabama, any of those shows you want to go to, you go to the ticket link and you punch in laughs. That's the code. You'll get 25% off. Okay, that's a huge discount. And then um, Old Saybrook is the 23rd, no discount. And... November 18th, Macon, Georgia, Capitol Theater. That's no discount either. But that um, doesn't, what? Uh, yes. According to what I have, you're, you're in Macon on the 17th and then Dothan on the 18th. You are absolutely correct. And I said that wrong. It's all good, man. That's why you're my man. That's See that? Right. I, accused, I accused you of not calling Brian. <laughs> you called Brian to get the studio moving. This is huge. I said the wrong dates and you corrected me. So. Dude, it's it's all it's all a team effort, man. So it's I, I'm not taking all the credit for that. It's all of us. We're a unit. It really is. Okay. Also, the True Brew Weekend is coming up since September. If you're a Patreon member, um, I've had Patreon members like high tier VIP members, and they've been on for over a year, and for all them. We personally are going on a sunset cruise Friday night before the weekend kicks off. That's my little thank you for everything. Let's hang out. Uh, Mike, you're going to be a part of that. We're going to also be doing live streaming from the from this whole weekend. We're going to do podcasts from that weekend. We're going to be filming everything. So even if you can't make it, totally get it, but you'll be able to live stream. I'm not sure if we're live streaming what part if we're doing the shows or whatever we are, but we'll be live streaming at times. So you can, we can give you a peek of what's going on and maybe we go on to something bigger and better next year or just the same. That's in Sarasota in September, true brew weekend for my VIP Patreon members. We're going on a sunset cruise on Friday night. Uh, it's a very limited group on Saturday. We have the shows, we have the Q and a, uh, maybe some pop-up things that we're talking about doing. <clears throat> then we have a rooftop lounge and cocktails, VIP, and silent disco. Have you ever been to a silent disco? 
No, and I can't wait for this. Dude, I'm going to get crushed on that. I'm going to... I'm... I'm going to get crushed for that. That's why I got to bring security. I got to get security just so he watches my ass at night. It's going to be nuts. I'm going to get... I'm going to have such... A, to be honest with you, I think that's... There's two of my favorite parts of that whole weekend. One is the silent disco. Uh-huh. I can't wait for the silent disco. I did this on the train cruise. Did you really? Yeah, Pat Monahan was like, Brewer, you got to come to the silent disco. I oh, I dude, I don't dance. He goes, no, no, no. This is a whole different beast. And it's weird. You walk in a room and you see people with headphones, but everyone's silent. <laughs> and everyone's over here like, man, man, man. Ah. And, and you have... We had, there's like two DJs and they're playing different music for different genres, but it's all the same beat. Uh -huh. And so this group, like let's say an 80s song will kick in, shout, shout, whatever. And the whole group were like, ah, but this group is like, what the hell is going on? What are you guys? And then they're switching channels. Like, oh. and, dude, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope it's halfway as fun as it is in my head. Then um, we do the show, stand up show. And then Sunday morning is going to be my favorite um, breakfast with brew. And we're going to tell the funny how God works stories. And uh, I'm super stoked for this weekend. And hopefully it leads to what I really want is eventually do a brew cruise. I really want to do that. That, that would be sick. Just three nights, three nights, four nights, brews cruise. I think that would be sick. Um, so there you go. I think we're updated. Also, we have Dunedin, or as you call it, Dundin. Uh, and I got a new agent. So I got a lot of new dates that we're working on that we'll be coming out with. Uh, we're going to have a talk on Monday and get all these new dates coming out. So October, November is going to be very – October, November, December is going to be a lot of touring. So Joe Sib has new shirts, from what I understand. That we're working on we found some old vintage we have female shirts everything's good what if we can get can we do you think he would pick up right now he's super excited hey mike hey joe joe hey, what's up bro you busy I just i dude i'm on i just landed on the plane right now what are you guys doing <laughs> dude i'm in dude. hawaii i was in hawaii dude. What? Oh my god, that's so funny! I'm back. You're 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 in Hawaii now, and now I'm back in Long Beach. Oh well, I'm in Hawaii, and I was like, I started talking about new shirts and True Brew Weekend. I'm like, I think we have new stuff, but I just, do you think it's cool just to call Joe and like we have female shirts dude. and all this stuff? But is it? Oh, is dude, this we a got bedtime? killer shirts. <laughs> well, no, I'm sitting on I'm sitting on the plane right now, so like everyone around me right now is going to hear what kind of merch we have. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's roll it. Let's do it. What are we doing? <laughs> what do you want to know? I don't know. Okay, like, I'll start with. We, we okay, I'll start with the. We got. Right. Dude, let, let me run it because I've been looking at it the whole time. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, we got the Bruniverse shirt. We got the Bruniverse. We got a Bruniverse shirt. This is great. I've been dying. Yes. For okay. All right. All right. All right. We got a Bruniverse shirt. Yeah. The guy in front of me right now wants to get one. Okay. So we got a Bruniverse. <laughs> Yeah, dude. If I get in trouble with TSA, it's because of you guys. Okay. All right, go ahead. Why do I feel like? Why do I feel like you guys both like ate an edible and then called me? <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just so funny. You're. So, you're this is Armstrong's survival. Cross checking confirmed. Okay. Please stand by for all call. Mahalo. Okay. Yeah. Mahalo. Okay. So then check it out. We got we got a killer Bruniverse shirt. Hello, good evening. This lady keeps interrupting me. I'm gonna call you right back. Wait, call me. Call me in five minutes. Call me in five minutes. 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 Wow. Wow. Oh my god, he's so damn funny. You can't make up a guy like him, dude, dude, dude. And I see him on, I see him on the plane right now. He's going, dude, dude, what's up? What's up, dude? Yeah, no, yeah. We got shirts. What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? You... I can tell just the way, the, the tone of the way he was talking oh. that he, that he was on the plane. Dude, that was, 
That was great. You timing. can hear the you can hear the boom in the background. <laughs> and he's sitting there selling. He's selling. I've never this is why I went business with this Ugh. guy. I'm like, nobody cares the way Joseph cares. Nobody who picks up the phone when they just landed from Hawaii, still on the plane. Like I would have went, dude, can't answer right now. Texting. Can't answer right now. Can I call you in like 20 minutes? I'm still on the plane. I'm getting off the plane. He's sitting there, he's like, dude, dude. What's up? Yeah, yeah. No, we got Bruno for a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got on the sunset. He crushed you to tell him make sure you see about this. And it's <laughs> I think he was still on the runway. Oh man. Anyway, go to the website, jimbrew.com. Um, but he definitely has we I kept saying we need female shirts. So we have some female shirts. A new Bruniverse shirt. We have a Bruniverse shirt. You know what else I found? And I want to ask you guys if you're into it. I years and years and years ago I went on this tour and I called it the Bruniversity Tour. The Bruniversity Tour. And I want to bring those shirts back because they looked awesome. Awesome. And I think I think maybe I can even those, maybe if it's not Bruniversity, welcome to the Bruniversity. Maybe that's a college thing. That's gonna be a segment. We should make that a segment where it's like life's teaching or something. Welcome to the Bruniversity. Something to think about. I'll think about that. Okay. Did we talk about gut felt last week when I was on? Uh, I don't maybe you might have mentioned it, but that it was just in mention and that was it. You moved on. Okay. Um, I was on gut fell two weeks ago, like right before I came out here to Hawaii. And the subject was Jason Aldean, Aldean. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Country singer where they literally try to cancel this guy. They try to say his song was racist. They try to say his video was racist. Um, and if this doesn't tell you how sick, twisted and demented anyone that comes up with that perception is, I don't know what does. This is, if you don't think we're being taken over, like this isn't woke. Woke is a nice word for communist dictatorship takeover. A violent, aggressive takeover. There's no other way for me to explain it. If, if they literally, with this song and this entertainer, he writes a song, and the song is basically when the riots were happening, and they like to call it protest, and we saw things burning down, and we saw, I saw my own, I saw the videos of people getting dragged out of their car and beaten, and people literally tried to validate that, which that alone is disgusting and disturbing. And the country network took his video off. So they're, forget them, put them on the bud, put them on that whole list of you're out, bankrupt them, bankrupt that net. Who watches any network television? Country, the country station was probably whatever, CMT, whatever the hell it's called. Done, dead, finish them off. <clears throat> How do you validate pulling this guy's video, which is now like number one. His song became number one because of all the jackasses that try to make something of it. I mean, they used words like lynching. Aren't we getting tired of it? You can get in a car accident. People scream, oh, it's racist, lynching. Isn't their, cry, their battle cry exhausting? It's over. They, they've been caught with their pants down. It's over for them. All these, all these so-called woke who are really just dictator aggressors. Woke means aggressor. If you're woke, you're a aggressor. You're a fascist. You are a dictator. And you preach hate. 
and violence. There's no two ways around it. You are the enemy. You, you, you don't stand up for humanity whatsoever. You're just the opposite. This is what I had to say on Gutfeld when it came to that video and them trying to cancel it. I, will, I listened to the song. I watched the video. There's not, what baffles my mind is, okay, you can burn the place down. You can drag innocent elderly women out of a car and beat them, kick them. You can light uh, churches on fire, but just don't write no songs about it. Exactly. <laughs> now you're crossing the racial tension line. Exactly. <laughs> and then I ended it by saying, I'll say this. I live in Florida right now. Yeah. If things go down, you better find yourself a redneck friend. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. You can, you can judge them all you want, but they're the ones that are up in a tree and know how to skin a hog. Just <laughs> Uh, I think you better become friends with a redneck real quick. You can judge them all you want, but they're the ones that hang out up in the trees and know how to catch a hog and skin a buck or whatever I said, which is a very good tone for my new tour. It's survival tour, which is really, I wanted to name it Country Boy Will Survive because the more I hang out with country boys, the more I realize they are the ones that are going to survive. And that's why everyone judges them and they're afraid, to, they're scared to death of them. But what kind of society are we? If the, and read this guy's lyrics. Tell me what's racist here. Listen to these lyrics, and you're going to tell me there's people screaming racist? This is path they're pathetic now. They're not even trying. They're, they're pathetic. So sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk. Is that racist? No. Carjack an old lady at a red light. Is that racist? No. Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. I don't see any racism yet. You think it's cool? Well, act a fool if you like. Um, cuss at a cop. Spit in his face. I don't see any racism there. I don't see any lynching. Stomp on the flag and light it up. Hmm. Does that sound like it needs to be canceled? Does that sound like racism? Yeah, you think you're tough. Well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Around here, we take care of our own. Oh my God, that is just, just absurd. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't try that in a small town. Get a gun that my granddad gave me. Oh, got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're going to round up. Well, that shit might fly in the city. Good luck. Try that in a small town. So you get the tone of this song. And when you play the video, A, it's, he shows all white people. That's number one. But you really need to understand what is going on. I have friends that came from communist countries. And they're literally trying to voodoo your ass. You know, COVID was one thing. That was one disturbing thing. But those riots were very disturbing. And it was encouraged by your vice president. It was encouraged by certain politicians. Violence, murder, burning, destroying livelihoods was encouraged and now this song just simply says you know showing his he doesn't he doesn't even sing in an outrageous way it doesn't sound metal if i sang if i sang it it would have sounded a lot more aggressive and i don't know if i don't know deep down <clears throat> when we talk about what happened if many people would have been as kind as this guy 
with his song. There's a lot of fury that lies within a lot of people for what they saw and what they experienced. And you can't justify that. You can't justify it any way you can. I, I, I laugh in people's faces when they try to justify it because they're fools. You're a fool if you try to justify such disturbing, violence, disgusting part of humanity. That was a very well-planned, funded event. And it was, it basically funded hate and violence. And so now you're going to try to cancel, you're going to try to pretend it didn't exist. So in other words, if I came to your house and I dragged your mother out of the house and I kicked her and I burnt the house down, I never met your mother and your mother had nothing to do with something that I'm angry about at a place that I never even been to. I'm just a sick individual watching the news all riled up from the emotions, from the crimes on humanity that the media gives us. And they infiltrate those emotions and my mind and I lash out. Now I'm going to write a song about that and that's the crime do you realize the country you're in and what's going on do you realize you have been taken over we have been infiltrated do you understand that when you get away with the violence the murder the lashing out the words they use to encourage these acts And then someone's just writing a song and you're going after the song, pretending that never existed, pretending that people weren't affected by that. I know it's here in our own country, but they're pointing to Russia and they're pointing to all these other enemies. The enemy might be right here, especially when they're turning on us. And they're making us turn against each other. I pray to God you wake up real quick. Because this isn't a joke. They are after your kids. They got your kids. They were violent. They did burn things down. They did murder people. And now they won't even let you talk about it. Are we in El Salvador? Where are we? I know some people don't want to think that this is truly happening. It's happening. And unless you stand up to these infiltrators, which is exactly what they are, they're infiltrators. They've infiltrated our republic. And they are showing no mercy. They've proved they're showing no mercy. They will show no mercy on your child. They will show no mercy on your mother. They will show no mercy on your neighbor. And they will show no mercy on you. They've proven that. They have flaunted that. It is happening. You must face it. And you must push back. Speak your mind. Stop being so scared. Good God, there's millions of us. People always ask me, you know, they say, hey man, thanks for, thanks for speaking up. I go, thanks, that's what we should be doing. Thanks for saying the things you do. Well, that's what we should be doing. Well, well we're scared. What are you scared of? They're a bunch of bullies. They're a bunch of nobodies. They're a bunch of spineless nobodies. And we can lift each other up. I ain't talking about violence. We can lift each other up. Give each other. Spread that love. Spread that understanding. But when they're trying to cancel. Again, woke and cancel is a nice word for infiltrated. By an enemy. So I don't know who Jason Aldean is. But I'll tell you what. Thank you, Jason, for writing such an incredible song. Thank you. Very we should try to get that guy. 
Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, we'll have Annie reach out to his people. I don't know if he'll come on, but I'd love to have Jason on. I'd love to have him on. Worth and a I shot, you, man. And I tell you what, you know, a lot of people will judge country or rednecks. They all bonded together. They bonded together, and they all stood up for this guy. And they're the first group that started standing up for one another. Well, I, sh- I shouldn't say it. I don't know that for a fact, but I tell you what, I respect that. I respect that, and so should you. So should so should all of you. I don't even know the guy. I resp- I'll download the song just to stick it in their face. I'll download it twenty. I'll, I'll tell all my friends. I I I'm gonna ask all of you to download that song and don't even listen to it, just to let them know. You you continue your attack, and we're gonna continue to push back. You attack, and we push back. Download that song. You don't even have to listen to it. Just to let them know we're done with your game. Uh, Joe said he's good to be uh, called back. All right, let's end with Joe. Yeah, let's get Joe. End on a light note. (laughs) Yo, Mike. What's up? You guys. Yo. Dude. Dude, I literally landed. Dude, we flew in. First of all, Maui was killer. I can't believe you're over there now. And now I'm home. We literally flew in and um and we we land and then you yeah. guys call and it, it seriously felt it felt like I was in seventh grade and you guys were like at Mike's house and his parents are gone and she said you guys could spend the night and you raided the liquor cabinet. <laughs> I mean, it, and it, it sounded like you're like, yo, dude, tell your mom and dad you can spend the night too. Like it really feels that. Vibe right now. <laughs> you so you when know? you went. We with your girl? Were you with Amy? Yeah, you... Amy and I, dude. Amy and I were over in Maui, dude. Literally yesterday, at this time, I was in a waterfall, and now we're back in uh, California in Long Beach. And uh, yeah, dude, the trip was sick. Surfed every single day, got yeah. great waves. Yeah. You know, hiked, went to yeah. waterfalls. Nate came yeah. over for a couple of days. You know, I know. Out. it was epic, I dude. Know. It was epic. It was epic. You know, I gotta prepare. Dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't prepared for August third, but I'm going to. No, I know you haven't. I know you haven't, dude. And I've been, I've been, I wake up in the middle of the night just hearing Metallica dun, 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 thinking about the show that we're doing. And I go, I know Jim hasn't thought about it at all. Hasn't thought about it one time on vacation. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. I'm going to start really zoning in on it in Michigan. Um, yeah. Oh, I cool. Really, Three days I don't before have to we do it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> dude, you're killing so- me. So I'm telling you right now, anyone going to the August 3rd show, the Ride the Lightning show, I'm telling you. Is Ride the laughter. laughter. Ride the Sorry. laughter, bro. <laughs> Dude, God. wait, hold on. You in the it, Evan sent me a promo for that, for the August 3rd thing, and, it, and in it you said twice, Ride the Lightning. I had to actually yeah. go and get AI Jim to say Ride the Laughter Tour. <laughs> so in the new promo that's going to come out, it's AI Jim that says Ride the Laughter Tour. <laughs> That is so funny you did that, Mike, because when Evan sent me the promo, I'm like, do I say that he just kept saying the wrong title for the show or are we going to roll with this? And I was just so I was just so glad that he even mentioned it that I was like, OK, I guess we're calling it right. Cool. Then the then the hundred T-shirts I'm bringing with Ride the Laughter, we'll just get rid of that. You know? Oh my god! It's gonna be an awesome show. I have so many friends. I know so many people going to that show, and there's some Dude, tickets left for that. So it's at the Gramercy Theater, August third. Um, yep. Gramercy Theater, ride the laughter tour, and absolutely, you're gonna, you're gonna see a show pulled out of my ass that's just gonna crush. Dude, all I know is this: we got killer photographs. Shock has sent me a bunch of stuff. Yeah. We got all the stuff that um, that Brett took, the Metallica photographer. So I mean. It's yeah. dude, like people that are listening right now, you're you're not gonna see he's Jim might be pulling it out, but I'm telling you right now, we have killer video photographs and of course all the stories from the six month tour. So and, it's and we're out. and we're rehearsing a lot the day before. Yes. We're gonna yeah. spend a lot yeah, of we got- time zoning in August second. We'll do the Lou Pre show for the Patreon, which by the way, if you're showing yeah. up to that, it's it's you're literally gonna be watching us rehearsing. It's like if you've yeah. ever been to Sunday Live and you do a dress show and a rehearsal show, that's what you're watching. So yeah, it's kind of cool. That's the show to see. And then and then if you go into the actual show, you're like, oh damn, they went from this to that. And that's dude, and I and I'll tell you this too, August second rehearsal show, my birthday. So what's up with that? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I know. Write that down. We'll have to have a birthday party. We're gonna throw that out there to you, dude. We're gonna we'll do dinner or something afterwards. Um, yeah. And Jesse Mallon, Jesse Mallon was, you know, we're doing Jesse Mallon's club. That's his club, Bowery Electric. So, awesome. Super psyched. Yeah, gotta thank him big time for that. Um, all right, cool beans. So, hey, do you want to know about the merch really quick though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got? Oh, dude, I wanted to tell you. So we got, we finally have. If you, anyone right now, go to jimbrewer.com. We finally got the uh, women's shirts in. They're killer. I got okay. so many emails from different people, Patreon people, people out on the road. I mean, people out on the road, really, to be honest with you. They'd come up to me and they'd be like, hey, man, love the shirts, but we need something that can fit a woman. A, a woman. A woman. Something yeah. that can fit a woman. For a woman. And, uh, yeah, so we made, like, these killer designs, uh, like, with uh, tattoo work on the front. And it's, like, ride. The, it's um, also Freedom of Laughter. And then we got finally the Bruniverse shirts in. Mike and I, actually, Mike got me the logo for that. So we got those Bruniverse shirts up there. And we also have Ride the Laughter limited edition shirts that we made for this, um, you know, for these two dates that we're doing in New York. And, um, yeah, so there's a bunch of new items up there. We got the koozies. We got the 4th of July Red, White, and Brew Crew shirt. So there's a lot of stuff for you guys to check out. It's all updated. And um, I'll be in the garage tomorrow shipping out all the orders that I was supposed to ship out while I was on vacation. All good, man. It's all good. I love you, brother. Thanks for checking in. I'll love you too, you. brother. Have a great night, you guys. I'll see you in your birthday. Hey, Later. Yeah, absolutely. Late. Late. Later. All right, everyone. So I will see you in New York City August 2nd and 3rd. August 3rd is the official show at the Gramercy Theater. August 2nd is the rehearsal show. Uh, and then, of course, August 5th, I'm playing the Paramount. That's like the big. That's stand-up. Totally different show. 100% different show than this Ride the Laughter show. Um, the Ride the Laughter definitely going to have, it's it's comical. It's very, there's a lot of comedy, but it's also, it's my, my history with rock and, and, and eventually getting the Metallica tour and the tour and great stories and footage and all that stuff. So I think a lot of Metallica fans are going to that. And, uh, and I want to thank my Patreon members, especially the ones that have been there for so long. Um, I'm excited about going on that sunset cruise and seeing you guys for that whole weekend at the true brew weekend, which everyone's invited to. So we'll get your tickets there and I appreciate everything. I appreciate you, Mike. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks, man. Hey, I appreciate you and everything you do for me, dude. All right. I owe you, uh, getting certified. So I'm working on it, doing. dude. I'm right after this. I'm going to start researching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. Thanks for hanging out in the groomers. Later. Hey, this is Jim Brewer, and I got my own Patreon page, and hopefully you'll check it out. Live comedy concert streamed once a month. Weekly, you host your own podcast, and you interview me. Early access to the Bruniverse podcast every single week and have bonus footage and bonus segments. I promise you, I'm not going to let you down. Go check out my official Jim Brewer Patreon page and I'll see you there.